No, it's not. Uh, and you can see that it isn't because if we'd had an amnesty, then the rate, the percentage of people granted uh, leave to remain would have gone up. It hasn't gone up. It's been fairly flat. In fact, if anything, it's gone down a bit uh, over the past few months. What this is, is the end of uh, a long-running saga of chaos you know, that in 2005, the border agency discovered 450,000 uh, files uh, in a warehouse of cases that hadn't been looked at. And we've now finally got to the bottom uh, of that pile. So it's been a long process, but it is now over. Well, the, the system has been uh, improved, uh, and you can see that by the fact that this, is, this uh, long delay has been hanging over the border agency for six years and is now over. And uh, we've set in place systems so that we won't have these huge uh, backlogs again and in other parts of the system as well uh, we're, we're spending a hundred million pounds less on asylum support than we used to uh, we've introduced a limit on work visas we've uh, we're dealing with the abuse in the student visa system so across the board we uh, we're grappling with the the shambles of the immigration system that we inherited a year ago th th it would be very dangerous to have an amnesty. I think uh, other countries have tried amnesties thinking they'd be one off and that they never are. No other country has managed one. So we're determined not to have amnesties. And what has happened with this backlog um, isn't an amnesty. It's certainly a big failure of public administration, but we've now got to the end of that. And the key now is to make sure that nothing like this happens again so that somebody in five years' time isn't facing the same problem. And that's very much the drive of what we're about now.